The Mario and Luigi games are always filled with charm and life with the unique personalities of each character. You can find almost every single one of them engaging no matter what their personality is like and no matter how big or small their role in the story is. That's one of the many things that makes those games special, even the toads can be weird and funny for god's sake. But there is one character that is despised by a lot of people and it's Starlo. Starlo has always been bullied by almost everyone for a long time now. Pretty much whenever she's mentioned there's always going to be a lot of negative comments talking about why she's the worst and how her existence is illegal. And after recently finishing my playthrough of every game in the series I thought to myself, is Starlo actually that bad? So I decided why not make a video talking about her and see if she really deserved the hate she gets, especially after seeing her in Brothership. Her first appearance was in Bowser's Inside Story and she was introduced as the Star Sprite's representative. She was sent to Princess Peach's meeting to help with the Blorbs crisis which is a disease that turns toads into giant inflatable rolling balls. But it turns out that the Star Sprites were useless in this situation and were unable to help in any way. In the game Starlo serves as the new partner to Mario and Luigi. Before Bowser's side story, we had Stuffle as a partner in Partners in Time and he was pretty bad to be honest. I personally really love him but I still think they didn't do a good job making him. He was only there for the purpose of tutorials and everyone hates the tutorials of this series. But Starlo is different, she felt like an actual character integrated into the story because of the way she talked with the others. She was cheerful yet savage which created some funny moments and added a lot of charm to Bowser's side story. I think her interactions with Bowser were probably the best and funniest in the game. Bowser calling her Chippy because he doesn't know who she really is was pretty funny and their dialogue with each other was really engaging since they don't get along most of the time which straight up created some of the best moments in Bowser's side story. But let's talk about what makes her bad. One of the main things that makes Starlo quite annoying is she talks a lot. Like the boring tutorials for example take quite some time to go through. It's pretty discouraging whenever I want to replay the game simply because of how I gotta learn the same thing every single playthrough. And sometimes she talks in unnecessary moments which interrupts the gameplay. And I didn't really like that. Also while her being savage with the characters made her funny sometimes it just pissed me off because she seems arrogant and acts as if she's above and better than everyone even bowser said it himself in the game and the character that is always a victim of her is luigi i gotta admit that it was pretty funny that luigi gets bullied in the games but sometimes starlo literally takes it a little too far and directly attacks him one example of that is after the troops fight in Bowser's castle and anyone who played Bowser's side story knows what I'm talking about. When Mario tells Starlo that he and Luigi defeated the troops in the past as babies, she literally asks Luigi if he attacked them by ferocious crying. What the f*** is wrong with you? I mean he kinda defeated them in the end by crying but that was still really rude for no legitimate reason, to a point it made him upset because he actually fought really hard and went through probably the most traumatic adventure in his whole life. Thankfully she did apologize for that but it didn't feel like sincere. This specific moment in the game is what's really started the Starlo hate in my opinion for me and for many other people and it's reasonable to hate her for doing that. But either way I still think Starlo is a good character in Bowser's Side Story despite the negatives I talked about simply because of how she made a charming game even more charming and I think she's a big part of the game's identity. After Bowser's Inside Story we get Dream Team where we are introduced to a new partner in the series called Dream Bird and Starlo is there as well for some reason. Whenever I remember Dream Team I literally forget that she was actually in there because she doesn't really fit into the aesthetic and vibes of the game. Her presence didn't make much sense and instead of being just an easter egg or a cameo she is again a helper. The reason why she was included despite already having Dream Bird as a partner was because of Dream Team's gimmick. Basically Dream Bird goes along Mario in the dream world while Starlo interacts with Luigi's face and surroundings while he's asleep to cause effects in the dream world. And that's uh, the only thing she was there for. The game would have been still good without her being present. Her personality and sense of humor was pretty much still the same. I think the moments that were actually quite funny was her interactions with some of the weird characters of this game like the massive bros and I also liked her dialogue with Dream Bird. They were really cute. But nonetheless she wasn't that bad nor that good in Dream Team. But after that, she managed to be in the most generic and stale Mario and Luigi game, Paper Jam. And her presence was pointless and didn't make sense at all. One of the many things I found really questionable about this game is that instead of bringing the unique characters from Paper Mario and Mario and Luigi, they only added Starlo. 
I don't hate Star Wars a character herself, but they kept bringing her back for no reason to the point her jokes were not funny anymore. And the Star Law hates and the bullies Luigi joke was being used in the game a lot, and it straight up became really old and started to be annoying. Toadsworth's interaction with Paper Toadsworth, like he did with his younger self and partners in time, would have been funnier and better than anything Star Law ever said in this game. The problem with Star Law is that her role and purpose has already been completed, yet for some reason, Alpha Dream still included her in the game games as a partner. They even put her in the f***ing side mode of Superstar Saga that nobody played. A character's presence in multiple games should have a purpose. Take Fawful for example. In Superstar Saga he was a sidekick of Kakletta and his dialogue and personality was really weird yet fun, making him a really interesting and likable character. Then after being defeated in the game he comes back as an easter egg and partners in time revealing that he actually survived. And after the release of Bowser's side story in the remakes it turns out that he was planning from the very beginning of the series to betray Kakleta and take over the kingdom. His inclusion was never pointless and everything adds to the lore and story of both his character and the series too. He had a huge impact on the plot of the games and he even explained a tutorial with fun dialogue which absolutely every partner failed to do. But Starlow? Nuh uh. She never had any of this despite having a major role. I think a backstory like Dreambird for example or visiting the star sprites and learning about her more or something like that would have made her way better and more likable. Or at the very least fix her relationship with Luigi as the story goes on. They gave her a lot of screen time and seeing nothing new about her is what turned her into a bad character. But there's one thing that must be clear and must be remembered no matter what you think about Starlo. Every character has their own flaws but still can be good in their own right. And the same can be applied to Starlo. And to be honest, she's a good character compared to the other partners we've had. It's just that she was overused with no character development at all. And that's it. It seems like the developers realized that themselves so she was simply added as a cameo in Brothership. And there was a lot of mixed reactions to this. Some loved it and some absolutely hated it. And personally I was a little bit uncertain about whether I like her inclusion or not. But as long as she doesn't play a big part or have an impact on the game then I'm perfectly okay with that. And I do hope that Dreambird and stuff will get some recognition as well just like Starlow. But sadly it seems highly unlikely. Anyways. I think the hate towards Starlow is deserved but quite over exaggerated, and whether she's a good or a bad character remains subjective and not totally objective.